is our current working situation. My husband and I just happen to be sharing this space with our dog. Hi everyone, this is Kai from Scarlet Label Studio and today we're going to take a look at my collection of pens. In this episode, we're going to look at all the pens and markers that I have been collecting and using for bullet journaling and all the art related stuff. First, the black pens. I admit I'm still using panda ball pens until now. I think a lot will agree with me this ball pen is very sensitive. You cannot drop it. By the way, though I may be mentioning some brands, this video is not sponsored. Now we're moving on to the colored pens, which I have a lot of. Here are some Titus colored pens. They are very affordable and they come in different colors. I have ones in brown, yellow, pink, and light blue. one of a professor's essential tools the red ball pen the dreaded red ball pen I used to check my students works this is a black crystal water based pen from our wedding reception I still have it and it's running out of ink so I'm gonna use it until the, the last drop of ink it has This pen, you're gonna see, it used to have a koala stuffed toy in it, but now, but Sina took it, and now it's just a basic brown pen, but thank you to the one who gave me this pen. This pen I really like, you can refill the ink inside of it. It's transparent. It looks cute. It comes in different colors. The nib looks like a calligraphy nib, but it's not really supposed to write that way. But anyway, it's, it's good. It writes really well. It doesn't bleed or anything. A lot are swearing by the Crayola Super Tips. I haven't tried them yet, but I've had Lil Hands coloring pens since college and I still use them until now. I also have pastel highlighters in two colors. This one is sort of a corally pink and the other one is very light sea green or very light turquoise. I also have the neon colored highlighters and these are very cheap. I got them from Divisoria. They still have ink. Uh, it lasted me two years. I'm not really particular about brands. I don't think you have to spend too much money on supplies. But some brands are really affordable, some are pricey. It doesn't matter as long as it writes well, it does its job. These ones I received last Christmas, I still have to review them. And uh, thank you for the one who gave me this. 
please follow his page Tiger Thorns if you haven't already. Majority of my supplies came from my husband and he buys me stuff like this for no reason at all. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to follow his page also. Aside from the pastel ones, we have them in metallic colors. This one I highly recommend. It's the Jelly Roll gel pen in white as you can see here it's very clear when you write it in dark paper i mentioned it several times in the past videos and i highly recommend it simple tip when you're looking for pens make sure to swatch them both in light colored paper and in dark colored paper especially if they're supposed to be pastel pens white pens or metallic pens don't forget to swatch them both in light colored and dark colored papers <music> marker is something that survived the 10 year challenge this one i had since i was in college i've been using it i still have the ink refill for it until now Aside from markers and pens, I also have stamps. These ones are from my husband. I still haven't used them. I'm still figuring it out and maybe in the future I can use it in one of my bullet journals. <laughs> These are essential items for bullet journaling, but they're really useful, especially if you don't have enough time to draw or sketch. You can use this for decorative purposes. Like I said, you really don't need a lot of stuff to organize yourself or to be artistic. And these things, it didn't become like this overnight. I acquired a lot of them through the years. Like I told you, I've started bullet journaling using one notebook, a ball pen, and a marker. That's it. And one ruler. That's the basic. That's the essentials. What follows is a result of gifts, favors, and some impulsive buying. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, 
and to follow our social media handles. This is Kai from Scarlet Lebel Studio saying, be organized and stay inspired. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.